the October 7th attack would never have happened if I was president. The past two years have proven that weakness only begets violence and war. And you see that it's weakness, but it's also there's a lot of hatred going around also, not just weakness, it's hatred. There's a lot of hatred on a certain side. What is needed more than ever is a return of unwavering American leadership and unquestioned American strength. We were strong, we were powerful, we were respected like this country has not been respected in many, many decades, just four years ago. That's what I intend to deliver as the 47th President of the United States. We're going to deliver everything that we want. As you know, Hamas has now been severely degraded, and Hezbollah has recently been dealt very, very powerful crippling blows. With strength and the right leadership, the dawn of a new, more harmonious Middle East is finally within our reach. It's finally within our reach. But you have no idea the role that the United States has to play in order to get that ball over the goal line. We have to get it into the end zone. And if it's not the United States, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We have to be able to get it done and get it done properly and get back to a wonderful, beautiful way of life. You have to be able to do it. You have to finish what you began and you have to finish it quickly. So here is my commitment to you on the solemn date. I will not allow the Jewish state to be threatened with destruction. I will not allow another Holocaust of the Jewish people. I will not allow a jihad to be waged on America or our allies. And I will support Israel's right to win its war on terror. And it has to win it fast. No matter what happens, it has to go fast. And I want to, uh, while we're at this point, I want to thank Mr. Steve Whitcoff, a great entrepreneur in New York and Florida and elsewhere. I think everywhere, frankly. But he's uh, made a major contribution, so I just want you to know that. I think it's appropriate to bring that up. What do you think? And Steve is the only one that doesn't really care if I do, but he's uh, been very generous. Thank you very much, Steve. I appreciate it. With his wonderful, beautiful boy. Here at home, I will defend our American Jewish population. I will protect your communities, your schools, your places of worship, and your values. We will remove the jihadist sympathizers and Jew haters. We're going to remove the Jew haters who do nothing to help our country. They only want to destroy our country. And we will never let the horrors of October 7th be repeated here on American soil. We will not let that happen, and we will solve the problem that we have. If you look at what happened just two days ago in New York City, I couldn't believe it. I said, it's starting all over again. The level of violence was as bad as it was last summer. If we can achieve all of that, if we can really make sure that those who perished on October 7th will not have died in vain. They can not have died in vain. You cannot let that happen. With God's help, their sacrifice will have given way to a safer Jewish homeland, a stronger state of Israel, a more secure America. And at long last, we will have achieved the dream of some generations. We are going to make this we are going to turn this, and you can never say a total positive because all of those people that have died, but we're going to turn this into something where they can be proud of what's happened. They can say, we sacrificed our lives for something very special. Uh, there has to be unity. There has to be peace. There has to be strength. We need so many qualities. We need every single quality. We're going to bring it all together, and we will have peace in the Middle East. We will have strength and resilience, and we will have a very powerful and strong Israel, and I will be with you all the way. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless the people of Israel. God bless America. Thank you very much.